Hey YouTube and Knife fans, so I wasn't gonna do another video tonight or this week, but uh, then this happened. So here we are. Uh, yeah, today, public holiday, King's uh, birthday, used to be the Queen's birthday, now it's King's birthday. Um, half a day at work, so I decided to come home, bead blast this thing, and cord wrap the handle. And man, this is super. I'm loving it. Check that out. That is, uh, this is a, this knife I've wanted for years, almost 40 years, and uh, now I've finally got a very, very good uh, replica of, so super happy, this is definitely the best one I've done um, of this style, and um, I think that bead blast just makes it. The um, the balance is actually pretty good too on this one. Check it out. So you got to be happy with that. And kind of interesting. I've, after wrapping the handle, it was a little bit handle heavy. So then I don't have a lathe, and I didn't feel like sending this part back to machining. So I just um, drilled the end out and took a few grams out that way. Interesting, <laughs> the difference that a few grams makes. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So this is based on, yeah, based on a movie knife, but also based on a drawing that I did back in 2020, possibly when I was making that K110 tool steel version. Um, the drawing kept popping up in my feed on Facebook, and I thought, right, I'll save that next time it does. And very interesting that I had actually, most of this I didn't have to alter it. The only thing I changed was I added, I made it nine teeth because I had eight on my original drawing. And I changed the size of the choil. So I've made the choil one inch by three quarters on this one. On my drawing it was one inch by half an inch. So, and it just didn't look quite right. And, but yeah, making that extra quarter of an inch just gives it that freaking awesome look. When you turn it. And the fans of the movie know what I'm talking about. So, uh, there it is, man. The blade tip was already at the halfway point. And realistically, that's um, that's how I've done this one. So, it's 9 inch blade, 4.5 to the front of the tooth. Blade tip is vertically 1 inch off the, the deck. There's a taper. Once you find it, work out... Um, well, 30 degree teeth, so 30 degrees out, it's the start of your curve, and from that point back, it tapers up 1.5 degrees. Um, the choil, I've put a down taper, 1.5, and then 1.5 on that piece, and then just put a nice big arc in there to, um, to bridge that up. And I did put an arc on the front. He has the curve, but he's it kind of like has a little step out, and then it drops down. Um, I drew that, and I didn't, didn't like it, so I'm just ran with what I've got. But, um, yeah, very interesting. The only other thing I had to change was the handle. So, uh, he had a, I had a, my 4.5 or a 5-inch handle on my original drawing. It's now 6-inch, full size. So, yeah, this is pretty cool, man. Uh, very happy with this. It's heavy at 850 grams, but... It's a beast, and because it's balanced, it's, it doesn't feel that bad. So, super happy. Um, sheaths for these will be coming in the post, I'm hoping in the next um, week, two weeks, whatever, uh, whenever he gets them done. And then I'll put the edge on it. Everything is uh, in there nice and tight. I do have to put some epoxy on the threads, because I don't think there's a need for the pullers apart again. So, uh, we'll get that done as well. Might get that done on the weekend. Uh, other than that, really, really happy with how this came out. So, I uh, thought I'd share it with you. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.